rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and shine. Not that I wish to imply you have been sleeping on the job. No one is more deserving of a rest, and all the effort in the world would have gone to waste until... Well, let's just say your hour has come again. The right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world. So wake up, Mr. Freeman. Wake up and smell the ashes. chosen or been chosen to relocate to one of our finest remaining urban centers. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration here in the citadel so thoughtfully provided by our benefactors. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to part to part to parts unknown, Welcome to City 17. It's safer here. Look at this stuff. It's all I have left. All right, I'm moving. Jeez. Were you the only ones on that train? Welcome. Welcome to City 17. Dr. Breen again. You have chosen. I was hoping I'd seen the last of him in City 14. To relocate to one of our finest remaining out. urban this is centers. Of operations. I thought so much of City 17 that I elected to establish my administration. Where are you taking it? In the city that so thoughtfully provided by our benefits. I've been proud to call City 17 my home. And so, whether you are here to stay or passing through on your way to parts unknown, welcome to City 17. It's safe here. This must be a mistake. I, I got a standard relocation group on just like everybody else. About that beer I owed you. It's me, Corden, Barney from Black Mesa. Hey, sorry for the scare. I had to put on a show for the cameras. I've been working undercover with civil protection. I can't take too long or they'll get suspicious. I'm way behind on my beating quota. Yes, Barney, what is it? I'm in the middle of a critical test. Sorry, Doc, but look who's here. Great Scott! Gordon Freeman! I expected more warning. Yeah, you and me both, Doc. He was about to board the express to Nova Prospect. Well, Barney, what do you intend? I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Alex is around here somewhere. She would have a better idea how to get him here. Well, as long as he stays away from checkpoints, we should be okay. Listen, I gotta go, Doc. We're taking enough chances as it is. Very well. And, uh, Gordon? Good to see you. Okay, Gordon. You're gonna have to make your own way to Dr. Kleiner's lab. Oh, man, that's...
That's what I was afraid of. Get in here, Gordon, before you blow my cover. Pile up some stuff to get through that window and keep going until you're in the plaza. I'll meet up with you later. Consider the fact that for the first time ever, as a species, immortality is in our world. This simple fact has far reaching implications as far as physical information allowing you to prepare for this. It also requires a plan or thought of a direct opposition to our neural precepts. I find it helpful at times like these to remind myself that, that, that our true enemy is instinct. Instinct was our mother. We were an infant species. Instinct coddled us and kept us safe in those hard scrabble years when we hardened our sticks, cooked our first meals above a meager fire, and started at the shadows that leapt upon the cavern floor. But inseparable from instinct is its dark twin, superstition. Instinct is inextricably bound to unreasoning impulses, and today we grips its true nature. Always starts. First the building, then the whole block. And they have no reason to come to our place. Don't worry, they'll find one.
Oh, I thought you were a cop. He's one of us. I told you they'd be coming for us next. Just this once, I hope you're wrong. Take it anymore. Everything's gonna be okay. What are we going to do? We'll you something. When is it all going to end? Don't worry. Please. It's all right. Attention, residents. Miss Count detected in your block. Cooperation with your civil protection team. Hey, you! Permit in here! Ration the wall. Head for the roof. There's no time to lose. Do they come? Huh? Help! Dr. Freeman, I presume. Attention. We better hurry. The Combine can be slow to wake, but once they're up, you don't want to get in their way. Dr. Kleiner said you'd be coming this way. <laughs> I don't think it occurred to him that you might not have a map. I'm Alex Vance. My father worked with you back in Black Mesa. I'm sure he don't remember me, though. Man, a few words, aren't you? Remember him from Black Mesa? Your old administrator. <laughs> don't get my dad started on Dr. Breen. Through here.
funny you showing up on this day in particular. We've been helping people escape the city on foot. It's a dangerous route to my father's lab through the old canals. Today, we're finally on the verge of having a better way. <laughs> Here, let me buy you a drink. Oh, and by the way, nice to finally meet you. Blast that little... Where did she get to? Lamar, come out of there! Uh-oh, everything all right, Dr. Kleiner? Oh, uh, hello, Alex. Well, uh, almost all right. Lamar has gotten out of her crate again. If I didn't know better, I'd suspect Barney of trapping and... My goodness, Gordon Freeman. It really is you, isn't it? I found him wandering around outside. Bit of a troublemaker, isn't he? We owe a great deal to Dr. Freeman, even if trouble does tend to follow in his wake. I must say, Gordon, you come at a very opportune time. Alex has just installed the final piece for our resurrected teleport. I can't take any credit for the breakthrough, Doctor. Nonsense. Your talents surpass your loveliness. <laughs> Let's just see if this thing works, okay? Well, is he here? There you are. Man, Gordon, you stirred up the hive. We can't keep him here long, Doc. It'll jeopardize everything we've worked for. Don't worry. He... That's right, Barney. This is a red-letter day. We'll inaugurate the new teleport with a double transmission. You mean it's working? For real this time? Because I still have nightmares about that cat. No, no. There's nothing to be nervous about. What cat? We've made major strides since then. Major strides. What cat? Doc, since he's not taking the streets, you might as well get him out of his civvies. What? Oh, dear. You're right. I almost forgot. Barney, I'll give you the honor. <laughs> I've got to get back on my shift, but okay. Here we go. Ah! Damn it! Get it off me! Lamar! There you are! I thought you got rid of that pest. Certainly not. Never fear, Gordon. She's de-beaked and completely harmless. The worst she might do is attempt to couple with your head fruitlessly get that thing away from me here my pet up up no not up there no no careful lamar those are quite fragile oh fie it'll be another week before i can coax her out of there yeah longer if we're lucky <laughs> barney you're not an animal person <sighs> Well, Gordon, go ahead. Slip into your suit now. Well, Gordon, go, 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 I see your HEV suit still fits you like a glove. At least the glove parts do. I've made a few modifications, but I'll just acquaint you with the essentials. Now, let's see. The Mark V hazardous environment suit has been redesigned for comfort and utility. Oh, dear. Doc, we don't have time for this. At least get that suit you stuff, Gordon. Good idea. There's a charger on the wall. I've modified your suit to draw power from combine energy outlets, which are plentiful wherever they control. Meanwhile, let's get this show on the road. Position yourself near the panel over the 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 over the
Yes, yes, Eli. Bit of a hold up on this end. You'll never guess who found his way into our lab this morning. Uh, that's not who I think it is, is it? Indeed it is. And it's our intention to send him packing straight away in the company of your lovely daughter. Are you ready for us, Dad? We're all set on this end. Then let's do it. Let's see. The master field plugs with self-limit and I clamp the master field. That's what you said last time. Hey, uh, yeah, about that cat. Visualizing in three, two, one. No, Fitness Nixon. What now? Uh, Doctor to plug. Uh, dear me, you're right. Gordon, would you mind plugging us in? It's right there, Gordon. Did it work? See for yourself. Hey, Doc. Oh, thank goodness. My relief is almost palpable. Fantastic work, is it? Well, I can't take all the credit. Dr. Freeman proved an able, able assistant. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon through now. Right you are. Speak to you again in a few moments. Good job, Gordon. Throwing that switch and all. I can see your MIT education really pays for itself. All right, Barney. Your turn. Gee, thanks. Gordon, as soon as you're in position, we'll send you to Eli. And not a moment too soon. Excellent. Initializing in three, two, one. Uh, Barney, if you'd be so kind. Good luck out there, Gordon. Yes, indeed. We're ready to project you, Gordon. Bon voyage, and best of luck in your future endeavors. Final scene. Is it? It's your head, the freaking head humper! Rock, heavy, no doubt! There he is! It's the bar with it! Get about that thing! It's coming through, Dad. What's going on, Judy? I'm not sure. It seems to be some kind of interference. Gordon, stay put! We'll get you out of there! Something is drawing him away. What's the meaning of this? Who are you? How did you get in here? Hey, hey, back! I'm getting him out of there! but certain it was Gordon Freeman. He didn't come through. Then where is he? Behind you. Shut it down. Shut it down. Gordon, you must get out of here. Run! Get down out of sight. I'll come find you.
Hey, Gordon. The Citadel's on full alert. I've never seen it lit up like that. Get out of City 17 as fast as you can, Gordon. Take the old canals, right? They'll get you to Eli's lab. It's, it's a dangerous route, but there's a whole network of refugees, and they'll help you if they can. I'd come with you, but I gotta look after Dr. Kleiner. Oh, and before I forget, I think you think you dropped this back in Black Mesa. Good luck out there, buddy. You're gonna need it. <laughs>